So hematopoietic neoplasms are clonal disorders of hematopoietic cells. And hematopoietic cells constitute red cells, white cells, and platelets. And they typically manifest as leukemias and lymphomas and plasma cell disorders. Leukemias involve predominantly peripheral blood and bone marrow, while lymphomas tend to involve tissue-based sites, such as lymph nodes, stomach, skin, et cetera. So the, the proper diagnosis of hematopoietic neoplasms is much more challenging um, because in the last decade, various technologies have become much more complicated and advanced to include not just conventional chromosome analysis, but also fluorescence in C2 hybridization or FISH, as well as the ever-expanding field of molecular technology, such as PCR-based testing. And as a consequence of these new technologies, not only arriving at the proper diagnosis, but doing it cost in a cost-effective manner um, has become much more challenging, both for clinicians and pathologists alike. So we really have to work together to de devise test guidelines or algorithms as to how to best approach um, the utilization of such technologies so that we can provide the right diagnosis for the right patient um, as, as best we can. So in our quest at Mayo Clinic to move forward with the cost-effective utilization of these tests, we have implemented several unique features. And one of those main features is um, implementation of algorithms uh, to work up specific types of diagnoses. So for example, um, Dr. Hansen and colleagues here at Mayo Clinic have put together a algorithm to work up myeloproliferative neoplasms, both in the peripheral blood as well, in, as well as in the bone marrow. And the reason that these were implemented, because when the WHO classification came out in 2008 and had mentioned a lot of new molecular advances, such as JAK2 mutation testing as well as bcr able one testing, we noticed that there was a lot of overutilization and misappropriate test ordering. Um, and so it was felt that we needed to provide test guidelines to properly utilize uh, these particular molecular types of tests. So a second unique feature that I think Mayo Clinic offers for appropriate test utilization is um, the, the use of receive and hold. And what this entails is that we will uh, receive a specimen appropriately and timely, but we won't process the specimen until the, the submitting client or patient has had an adequate time to review that particular case and decide what would be necessarily appropriate for the workup of that particular diagnosis. And this option is available in the flow cytometry laboratory as well as in the uh, cytogenetics laboratory as well. Yeah, I think another uh, unique feature that is available at Mayo Clinic is all of the consulting staff is open for phone calls. We're, we're happy to help you figure out the next appropriate test um, that's, that's performed at the right time for your particular patient in your particular case. And that will ultimately lead to the best treatment and diagnosis for the patient.